Yeah, I hear you. Bye bye. Hey, bye bye. Now we on. Cause I'm back in the game. Wrote this shit here. Mm -mm, 21. What do you say? How he started that song? Got T. January 21. Yeah, that shit was hard. That shit was hard, man. Hey, man, what's good with you? Shy Kid, what's good with you? Ross, what's good with you? I know, I wanted to show the cartoon. What's good with y'all, man? Y'all jumping all in it live, man. I'm Jay, what good with you, man? Gio, what's good with you, Mike? What y'all been up to, man? I hope everybody been doing good, bro. Hope everybody been turned up. Having a good old hot burning scorching summer. You know what I'm saying? We turn. I'm gonna go ahead and draw. I'm gonna draw us a nice little Einstein. I was like, I might as well get y'all alive. I ain't did a live in a minute, so I said, man, I gotta get a, I gotta get a game, a live performance, bro. Mo, what's good with you, man? Everybody been good, bro. Everybody been been creating. I think I'm gonna make his mouth like it's like it's hanging. See that like his jaw. Okay, be like that. Have his jaw coming down like this. I'm gonna try to draw this fast. You know what I'm saying? I notice when you 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 take too long on working on a picture, people lose interest. So I'm gonna try to draw this thing fast so it'll be like, dang, bro, that don't that don't come together, man. I wish I knew how the top of his head look, dude. He got hair at the top. Einstein, Frankenstein got hair at the top of his head. I should have, before I even started, I should have just got a whole bunch of references of different poses, like a different angles of Frankenstein. So when I'm creating minds, I know the basic of Frankenstein. Zony, appreciate you, man. Appreciate you, man. Whatever you working on, man, I appreciate you for just the support, man. That's what's up, bro. Can't wait to see it. I know it's going to be crazy. I know it's going to be dope. I know it's going to be that fire. Let me see. We're going to make it a little nostril. He said, Abdullah. I'm live in that Iraq. Oh, that was up. Let me move the camera out of the way. Let me move my camera out of the way so I can see what people see. Hey, what's good, Robert Williams? What's good with your mind? It's flat. You know what I'm saying? Appreciate you. You said top of the head is kind of flat. I need to make sure I got that. Make sure I got that flat thing going. I know I should make his eyes a little, a little more drippy. Love from, love, from, love from Canada, man. And I hope, I hope the Raptors win, bro. <laughs> For real talk, I really hope they pull it off. I think they're going to though, bro. Cause you, your boy Kawhi Leonard is a beast. You said Abby Rue Coley? Or Abby Rose Coley. Abby Rose. Hey, bro. 
a lot of y'all in the comments, bro, I be trying to show some love, but it be so hard to say y'all's names. I don't be wanting to say the wrong thing, but I see y'all, bro. I see y'all, bro. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate y'all for tuning in. I need to make this jaw look like it's falling. It got to be a little more exaggerated, so we going to pull this down like it's falling, I bet. Okay, bet that'll do. Make that jaw look like it's falling a little more. A B, well shoot, that's what I'ma call you. I'ma start calling you A B. If and a lot of y'all can just start putting your little nicknames in the comments. That'll be easy for give me some give me some letter names, bro. I can remember that. I I can remember A B, man. For real, bro. Trust me, bro. Call me A B. I got you, bro. I'ma call you A B, dog. Let me go ahead. We finna do the, we finna do the line work. We finna make this thing, we finna make this thing super duper. Oh shit, I made that too bright. Uh oh. What about to say? How do, how do I deal with people stealing my word? Bruh, <laughs> that shit impossible, bruh. <laughs> bruh. The internet is undefeated, bro. You just gotta keep, you just gotta keep grinding, bro. Cause people gonna find a way to get better. Just like, just like we gonna find ways to get better at creating. People gonna find ways to get better at stealing what you created. So, <laughs> it ain't no way around it, bro. You just gotta, you really just gotta get used to it, bro. Cause people, I hate it. I hate the fact. I really have a problem with. It. Other artists is still in my work. Because I be thinking, it really don't bother me as much no more. But I just see it as that's kind of sad for that artist that don't have enough confidence in their work where they sharing minds and feel good off getting credit off work I created. Like, I, don't, I never understand that. I don't get it, bro. But people, people gonna steal, dog. You just gotta, you just gotta shoot. Stay doing your thing and don't let that discourage you because they stealing out here, bro. Hard. It's been apps stealing my work, bro. Like, it's a lot of people come, like, uh, shoot me a DM and be like, bro, this app stealing your work. This app right here stealing your work, bro. So. To advertise what they got going. Another thing too, if y'all see an app, don't support it, bro. I ain't partnered with no app. So basically, if you see an app advertising my work, it's false advertisement, bro. So basically, they're gonna finesse y'all. It's gonna make you click on it, and then you click onto the app, and it don't do nothing you think it's finna do. So. But that's the only thing about when people stealing, bro. That that type of attention don't last long. You know what I'm saying? And the truth always comes to light, so you gotta see it like that. Yeah, bro, cause they out here. He supposed to look like that, girl. Face time for look crazy, girl. Nah, this jump finna be crazy though. Trust me. Watch how smooth it come together. Watch how smooth Frankenstein gonna be like, what? Boy, I just had me a beer. I just got a work. Let's see. Go ahead and put a little. I'm gonna put a little eyebrow, a little. How do I feel that Neat Natural is a better art? Bruh. I used to be like, dang, <laughs> you know what's so crazy? My sister used to blow me out the water, bro. But I feel good about it, bro. Shoot, she my, she my, she my blood. So the same greatness in her as she winning, I'm winning. So 
You know what I'm saying? She just motivate me. Anybody that that's better than me motivate me. It don't because at the end of the day, if you jealous of anybody, bro, that jealousy is an insecurity of self. So if someone's better than you, you shouldn't get jealous. You should just get motivated to get better than you are. So, so I don't mind people being better than me. She dope though. My sister, I ain't gonna even lie to you. Like, bro. My sister, like, if she really would have stuck with just drawing, bro, like. Cause it was it was one point of time now, like she was real crazy with the art. Like my sister was doing a lot of amazing things on paper. Like I used to, we used to uh, have a comic book, and she'll sit and she'll draw step by step, and I just draw right after her whatever she drawing. And then I'd be thinking, what the hell she trying? What the, what the hell she drawing? And so I stopped cop following her steps and do my own thing. And then the picture, when we get close to finish, I finally realized what she drawing. I'm like, damn, that shit came out dope. And then my shit came out all messed up because I, I gave up and started doing my own thing. But yeah, she, my sister a beast, bro. In real life. Nah, you know my mama can draw too. And my dad. Like, everybody in my family could draw. And at one point in time, I was like the weak link. Like, like I was the only one that was like, damn, everybody doing this dope stuff and I want to do it. And I just started working at it, man. And look at your boy now. On this YouTube thing. On the grind. On somebody's mind. I'm <laughs> just playing that shit just run. And then that shit just run. You heard that? Yeah, yeah them bars. Them bars trying to, them bars want to come out. Album coming soon, man. Y'all stay tuned, bro. I'm trying to tell you. Johnny, man, Frankenstein look like he just. Frankenstein look like he worked a double. <laughs> yeah, yeah. My nigga look like he got hit in the back of the head, bro. My nigga like, oh, shit, boy. Nah, look like that nigga just got hit with that goddamn, goddamn child support. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh shit! Oh shit! My nigga Tony don't get hooped though, no, nah. Hey, that ain't ever funny though. But nah, but Frankenstein tired, but. I uh, appreciate you, man. Appreciate y'all for the support, Shaba. Appreciate you for the support, man. Y'all the realest on earth. Real talk, bro. I'm telling y'all, bro, when we go mainstream, but y'all gonna be shocked, bro. I might shout out everybody. I'ma go live when I when I go when I'm accepting a reward or some shit. And they're gonna be like, who you wanna thank? I'm like, I like to thank God first. And then I would like to I would like to thank my gang. And then whoever on that live with me, I'ma just be calling out names. That I barely can say, so that shit gonna be crazy. Abla, Cobra, Terra, Sarah. Man, we finna be turned. Damn, should I get Frankenstein for straight teeth? Nah, hell no. Nah. Frankenstein got that goddamn, that mouthpiece. Frankenstein got that goddamn. Gotta put that gun. Okay, Frankenstein got that goddamn. Oh yeah, you right. Frankenstein got to have the bolts in the neck, bro. I'm glad you said it, bro. Let me see. Yeah. Are you feel me, bro? Hey, bro. I'm so glad you said something about a game. Y'all go subscribe to my Twitch right now, cause bro, I'm finna, yeah. I'm finna start a gaming channel, bro, and I'm real deal about to get heavy in games. I'm talking about every game. We, I'm talking about y'all already know PUBG gonna be on there, so 
Don't act like you ain't no Pudgy gonna be on there. But GTA, we coming back with GTA Heavy. We coming back with FIFA, all kinds of games, Tony Hawk, Skate, Call of Duty. God dang. I'm just start going crazy with the game. So if y'all just wanna watch your boy play games, entertain, and do his thing, go subscribe to my Twitch, man. Bro, I need a I need a bro for the I'm telling y'all, bro. I'm low key working on my rhyming skills again, cause I'm about to jump back in. The, I'm about to jump back in the booth, bro. It's over with. We about to jump back in the booth, I said we about to jump back in the yo. You know what I'm saying? It's about that time. You feel? It's about that time. Talk on. Fortnite, but you know what? We go, y'all. I'm gonna try Fortnite for the first time. I never played Fortnite in my life. It just didn't look interesting to me. But nah, that shit does. When you so used to the real games like Call of Duty and stuff, it's kind of like it's like you going down, like you playing kitty. Are you going to a kitty world from a real world? But you know what? Since everybody like Fortnite, I'm going to try that joint. Bro, we playing every game, bro. A lot of games I want to play on my channel too, bro. It's some scary games that's on the computer. Like, I'm going to just type in and look for the most scary games. And we just going to... Rainbow Six, bro. What's so crazy? You said Rainbow... Bruh, we used to love Rainbow Six on the three, Xbox 360. How did who? How did me and my girl meet? Man, let me tell you. <laughs> Boy, I was waiting for somebody to add this damn story, bro. I'm about to tell you. And, I, and the thing about it, I don't sugarcoat nothing, bro. I'm sugar. She over here nervous. I'm telling, <laughs> I'm gonna tell. You. All right, look, then what happened, bro? She see you, boy. You know what I'm saying? She she see me rapping in the video. You know what I'm saying? Your boy got them balls. You feel me? And then she like, dang, who that is? She wanna talk to me. So you know what I'm saying? She find a way to get up with me. We start talking through mutual friends. Okay, we start talking on the phone. You know how. Oh, she messaged me gonna say something. Her first message to me ever was, uh, are you nice? <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck, girl? <laughs> she was like, are you nice? I'm like, I should have said no. <laughs> she, but nah, I was like, yeah, girl, I'm nice. You know what I'm saying? I'm a nice nigga, man. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, after that, yeah, she said, Are you nice? I told Shotty, yeah, you're nice, you feel me? Yeah, <laughs> that boy. <point. laughs> so after that, yeah, we just started talking. And that was around the time, bro, when a nigga wasn't using his full mind. So I had the phone where you got a you got the little prepaid minutes thinking you saving money, but you winding up not saving money. And bro. We talked 500 minutes up in one day, dog. Like, that shit was gone. I was like, what the fuck? Because you know when you get comfortable with a girl, she like to just sit on the phone. Bro, we were falling asleep on the phone, hearing each other do this. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Just some old romantic shit. It always started out sweet. You know what I'm saying? And then... It came that day where she wanted to see me, see me, and I was like, "Oh shit!" You know, you know, on your on your pictures, you could post the old picture when you was on your A game, bro. And I was like, and I was thinking to myself, "God damn, shot want to see me right now. I ain't even got my goddamn swag." <laughs> I was like, "Yeah, yeah." So she came through, nigga. I was like, "Shit, damn, bro." I kid you not. This girl, I was, she was she was asking me for directions how to get to my house, and then when she seen me, I know she seen me. I'm standing at the road, bro. She gonna see me 
and keep fucking looking straight like she ain't see me. Cause I guess I I guess it was a catfish for her. Like like she seen a picture that didn't quite look like what I look like in person. So she was like, I was like, damn. But you know me, I'm all I'm thinking shit, it's just dark out here, dog. That's probably why. That probably so I don't give her the benefit of the doubt. I was like, maybe she ain't seen me for real, bro. She probably didn't see me for real, but then she came back. And then she was giving me that look like, you know how girls try to play, they like, oh, damn. Oh, uh, shit. <laughs> hey, then I noticed I was getting that vibe from her. I was like, what the fuck? Like, she ain't, she ain't fucking with me for real. <laughs> and then, hey, so we, I'm walking up to the house and shit. She all laughing. But it ain't that blush laugh. It's that, what the fuck is this I'm looking at laugh. <laughs> <laughs> bro, we walking up to the house. She kept looking at my face and doing that look, mm, mm, mm. <laughs> like, like I had shit in my in my mouth, bro. She, hey, she played me the first day though, dog. Boy, tell yeah, nah, you played me for them first, them first, uh, them first ten, 10 minutes. Yeah, then I had to turn then you know what I'm saying. You know me, like. You know me, nigga, like, shit. I was like, nigga, I might not got the goddamn the tools as far as the goddamn supplies. And I might not look right, but shit, I got this mouthpiece. You feel me? So you would start spinning that. I started spinning that goddamn mouthpiece game. So I was like, damn, shit. And that just, like, my, my game, dog, when I start, when I start spinning that game, it just helped out the looks. Because the looks weren't there. But you know what I'm saying? That's when I started being extra sweet. I was like, oh shit, I'm about to lose her. Hey, <laughs> yo, yeah, bro, I just started showing. I was like, oh damn, this girl ain't. Like, oh, you killed my confidence, though. Nah, I remember. I remember clear as day. <laughs> you, you killed you that shit. <laughs> hey, my confidence was on a thousand till you pulled up. But I almost lost it. I almost fumbled. But I was like, hell no, nah, nigga. I had to remind myself. I had that little angel sitting on my shoulder. He said, nigga, you cheat. You got this shit, nigga. <laughs> I was like, maybe my, myself, I'm talking to myself like, damn, maybe she ain't fucking with me. Myself like, nigga, nigga, shut up. Shut up. And she wasn't fucking with you, she wouldn't be here. <laughs> she seen your egg last. She walked in the house. It got to be, she could have kept riding. <laughs> I was like, damn. I was like, you right, T, you right. He was like, all right, pull yourself together. Get, get on your A game. Show her your artwork. Show her, show her your shit. <laughs> talk. You still can talk. <laughs> then she, hey, after that day, boy, she fell in love. Shout out to bringing me goddamn pizzas, one tons, goddamn gummy bears. Shout out to <laughs> Hey. She kidded me. With, she kidded with me one day, and then she was, bro, nigga, was eating good. I called T. I be like T. She like, you hungry? I like, hell yeah, I'm hungry, baby. She started to come over there with a, a big ass plate of one tons. Like shit, I ain't even know what one ton was till she started cooking them. But yo, she started coming over there with that man, real shit. Ain't feel me. And then I was telling her, I was like, Shawty, don't you ever in your life play me like that, girl? I'm a real ass nigga. <laughs> <laughs> she was like, okay, okay, daddy, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I was like, I know, shit, because you like to lose me, real shit. Like, I like to say, fuck all this, you feel me? I ain't going to chase you now. <laughs> Let me stop. I can't wait to play this shit, man. But, yeah, that's how it happened, bro. Then, look, look at me now, Shaw. Shaw is sitting over here staring at me, blushing. Cause she like, damn, I caught a good fish in the sea. I caught me a bass. <laughs> I, ca I caught me a catfish. No, nah, but I, I, a catfish, a catfish got got hair, and I got, I got a beard. So the cat, the whiskers. Yeah, I could shout that I was at the bottom, but goddamn, <laughs> you feel me? You feel me? You feel me, nigga? Nigga went from a catfish to a goddamn great white. You feel me? But yeah, that's the story, bro. I wish I, I would have I got deeper in depth, but you know what I'm saying? Got to keep it big. You know what I'm saying? 
PG-13, you know what I'm saying? Maybe I'll start a late night channel that bit rated R. Starts Friday in theaters and you. Oh, bro. Let me tell y'all, bro. I don't, I don't, I'm gonna go ahead and tell y'all, bro, cause shit, fuck this. Look, a nigga finna have a lot of story time, but y'all see my little cartoon in the car, in the corner right there. I'm about to have my own show, bro. I got, I got, I got a lot of stories to tell y'all, but it's gonna be with my cartoon, cause y'all gonna be like, damn, I can't believe that boy went through all that. Nigga, <laughs> I done went through some shit, but I'm gonna tell y'all in a, in a, a cartoon. Huh? It is my girl black, bro. I'm so glad you said that. My girl black, but she 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 got she got she thinks she white. <laughs> she she from the country, but she swear she from she from the goddamn what 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 you call the suburbans? She had like, bro. <laughs> I said the goddamn suburbans. It's a suburban. Well, you knew what I, you knew what I. Anyway, that was she like to do. She like to try to correct me and act like she from just a proper side of the earth, but she from the hood, just like your boy. <laughs> you move them out the hood, they forget about the hood, and then they act like they don't want to claim it no more. But I make sure she, I make sure like you know what I'm saying. When she try to act like she ain't from this, I make sure that people know she from this. Cause when they see me, I be like, yeah, see y'all proper and stuff. Hey, good morning, how y'all doing? And I be like, what up, my nigga? You feel me? <laughs> and see, it just kill the whole vibe, bro. You know what I'm saying? Cause we from that. From that. Yes. <laughs> Let me stop. But yeah, bro. Yeah, man, I just. I met, met my baby, man, you know what I'm saying? She was, she was dodging me for a split second, and then I don't know what the hell happened in that split second, but she got down, caught that twinkle in her eye, and I was like, yeah, yeah, I'd like to miss me, too. You feel me? I was broke. I was broke with ambition, bro. You feel me? No clothes. I ain't ha I'm telling you, bro, my swag was on. You know, you know how you... You know how them days when you all dressed up and you nice and, and it, it seemed like when you dressed up, you more confident. Bro, my swag was on a zero. Talking about goddamn. <laughs> that shit was on zero, bro. Real talk. That shit was on. You know your swag on zero when you out the shower and you still feel like you did before you took the shower. <laughs> I was like, damn, nigga, goddamn. So I don't want to see me today. Yeah, we get. I like the pro. I like to postpone the uh <laughs> the meetup, nigga. I like that. Hey, sorry, you might you might gotta wait. I gotta goddamn get some started with my life. <laughs> you feel me? But shit, man, everything worked out. Shot to realize I was that nigga. Quick too, but cause I was like, boy, I'm trying to tell you, you let me go. <laughs> Shit, you let me go, shot it real talk. Yeah, but she was like, nah, she 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 snapped she snapped back into reality real fast. You know, have you ever seen that's so raven when they get a glimpse of the future? She got a glimpse of the future. She was like, oh shit. And then she came back. She like, oh, you cheat world. I need to stop tripping. So I start tripping quick. I said, hell yeah. yeah. Better consider my goddamn lap. <laughs> Let me stop, bro. But no, nah, but you did get, bro. I never forget that, but that look you gave me when you first. Oh, that shit, that shit killed my. You, bro. Nah, cause I was already nervous before you came, and then after you gave me that look, I said, "Yup, I'm ugly." <laughs> After you looked at me, and I was I was thinking to myself, nigga, you ain't. <laughs> I, it seems like the more you looked at me, bro, the more I hit myself harder with it. Yeah, nigga, you are you already know what you look like. <laughs> Stop playing. <laughs> but then when you when you come down, I come down too. I said you ain't that bad. <laughs> Shit. But yeah, but you you like that you like to ruin the nigga goddamn 
damn heart with Chris, bro. Yeah, girl, I would. Shit. I was like, damn, I feel like people do on catfish. I was like, maybe if uh, we would have kept just the phone, kept it at the phone conversations. <laughs> Bro. But you know what I'm saying? Everything worked out, man. You know what I'm saying? Because once I start, once I'm losing, I'm like, nah, Chiba, you got to bounce back, bro. You got to bounce back, bro. You feel me? But yeah, but yeah, man, I got a lot of. I'm finna do a lot of animation on my channel, bro. Telling all my life stories, bro. So I'm gonna be telling y'all stories, but I'm gonna retell y'all stories, but animated so y'all can really be where I was at when it was happening, bro. Cause I got a lot of crazy stories, bro. Crazy, crazy. But I'm gonna start all of them out with that little thing. What you call it? That warning. Yeah. Don't try none of this. Don't do none of this. This ain't cool. Don't come back. Your boy got some. Got some story for that. Ed. Got some story for that. Bro, this junk came out. You like my Einstein T? Yeah. I need to add some more wrinkles on the bird. Let's see. Put it right there. Wait, how are you drawing in? I'll tell you the next question. What do you Oh, what I do animation in? I'm finna uh I'm finna buy this program called uh what's the name of it? What I did that animation in, the little chi world y'all see in the corner right now, I did that inside Clip Studio Paint. Because you can animate inside of it, but bro, it's more difficult, especially with the version I got. Like, I just got the regular version, but you can still do a little animation in it. But I'm finna get this animation program called uh, TV. TV paint. And that's what I'm going to do all my episodes and all my cartoons. And I promise you, it's going to be the dopest thing you ever seen. Because I'm going to really draw. <clears throat> I'm going to really draw the projects I, I was hanging at in certain stories. I'm going to draw. They got my neighborhood, the gyms I hoop at. I'm going to really draw my environment. So if you watch my episodes on my show and you really come to my neighborhood or you come to where i was from you'll be able to be like damn that shit that shit all in the story i seen it before so yeah that's what i i was like dang i can tell the story but i can really show the story so it's good it's good to be able to draw it like because i can really show y'all and put y'all there so you can really have the experience so yeah, bro, I'm like, cause when I was drawing this little, this little chi world I did in the corner of my video right now, I was thinking, damn, I really enjoy this. I really need to do more with it. It's just patience. You just gotta have patience when you're doing anime. But I can, I'm slowly getting that patience back. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, that's gonna be crazy, bro gonna be crazy it's gonna be crazy bro i'm trying to have that boondocks effect with my with my show but in my own way i ain't gonna copy that don't mean i'm gonna copy the style of boondocks or none of that i just want it to be like raw that's what i mean i just want it to be real raw <clears throat> And I ain't go to school for animation or art or none of that. So it's going to really have like a real rough feel to it. You know what I'm saying? Organic. It ain't going to be all clean because I don't know no proper techniques of animating or nothing. I just know how to draw. So that's what I'm going to do. I ain't going to even, I ain't going to even study like how you should animate. I'ma just do it my way. You know what I'm saying? 
do it the chi world we i should make him drip you think i should make him drip now he got drip a little mold old shawty he got drip hmm yeah, I need to make his teeth a little dirty too, cause you know, you know when you, when you need be, I ain't really been to the dentist like that though, bro. It's not gonna be crazy though. Oh yeah, <clears throat> damn, I got it, got damn. Hey, another thing I wanted to tell y'all too. He said what? Zony. Oh, you said Skillshare teach you classes on animation? I feel you, bro. It's a it's a program. I'm going to show y'all tomorrow. A free art program. It's called, uh, what is it called? I think Kia. I'm gonna show y'all tomorrow, bro, and I'm gonna try to draw with it so y'all can see it. But I was checking it out before I started this live, and it's pretty dope to be free. It's pretty dope to be free, bro. And it got some super cool brushes you can use on that program. So that's what I'm gonna show y'all tomorrow. And jump, fire, fire. Who I like better? <clears throat> I like I like uh Riley. He just more I don't know. He just his his personality really brings the show out. You know what I'm saying? It's just like no filters. Like Huey is more mature, but Riley just make it more like, oh, that junk crazy. He make it. He brings, it's a perfect balance. You know what I'm saying? I think if it didn't have Riley, it'd be boring. You know what I'm saying? Because it'd just be too too clean. And it's so. Shout out from, what you say? What's good with your Julio? Appreciate you for the support, man. Appreciate all y'all for the support, man. You said what? Alvin, what version of Illustrate? What version of uh, Illustrate do I use? I think it's uh, I think I use CC. I think it's CC what I'm using right now. But to be honest with you, bro, I use any version of Illustrator and still be able to achieve the same. You know what I'm saying? Same feel. Because I used to use the old Illustrator and still get the same exact style. Like, I don't really use the new features that they be adding. So, you pretty much good with any Illustrator. Let's see. Put them a nice little drill. Drip right here. And we gotta do the little, little yuck drip like put that right there. T, if you had to kiss this dude to save me, would you do it? You what? Boy, you a get honest? You get Frankenstein murdered? I'm like, girl. Cause I ain't gonna know what the bet was. I'm gonna just come in at the last moment and see you kissing. I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> oh, you gonna fake laugh? Okay. Okay. Nah, it's all good though. Nah, it ain't. It's all good though. You supposed to be laughing at everything, huh? Oh, this joint gonna be crazy. To put that right there. We got that boy dripping, dripping. David Real, uh, David Real, man, I appreciate you, bro. Who 
You see it said that? Yeah. See it. See it, Acura. Appreciate you. Thank y'all, man. Appreciate y'all for tuning in, man. Y'all the y'all the reason, bro. Y'all the motivation, bro, to the channel, bro. Y'all add y'all bring a lot to the channel that y'all don't even know. You know what I'm saying? For real, man. I'ma drop more tutorials too, cause I noticed y'all really like the tutorials on the channel. So I'm gonna make sure I start doing a whole lot more because i noticed when i dropped that how to how to shade tutorial it got a good response so i'm gonna drop some more stuff like that for y'all another shade. i'm gonna drop a lot of shading tutorials because i notice if y'all watch it enough you'll be able to just catch on you know what i'm saying just being if you see it enough you'll be you'll be like oh i'm getting it now i'm figuring i see what he's doing You know what I'm saying? Okay, bet there we go. I said, yeah. I'm just gonna start. Start coloring this thing you now. About to add the color to this brother. Hey. Let me see. The highlight all this. Oh, the object expand. Click merge. Hold shift and out. Wait, just hold it. Hold shift. I don't know why I'm tripping. Just hold shift. So we can change the size, but keep it all in the right scale. Let's see. Now we about to start the coloring process. So what I'm finna do, I'm finna create a new layer. And I'm gonna color this the long way, bro. I'm gonna get the color green. Make sure it's at the top. Make sure the bottom layer lock. Go to my pencil tool. Make sure my settings right. Hit OK. You gotta make sure this color at the top and make sure your bottom lock so it'll work as a fill in tool. All we gotta do is trace the areas and it'll fill it in. So let's just do all that. Boom. I'll color that. Come on down here. All this in right there. Boom. Get this in. Mm. Close that off. Come to this side. I just, just feel like going a long way. Color all this in. What is you so good, bro? Nah, that juice. That juice busting, but I'm juicy busting like a fourth of July. Okay, there you go. Bro, I feel like my nose stopped up, bro. Don't you hate that feeling when you just gotta breathe out your mouth? Nah, I hate, I, I hate when you eat a peppermint thinking that's going to clear your breathing, but one nostril <laughs> work. I be like, man, fuck. Damn, bro. All right, look, here we go, man. I'm going to go ahead and close this thing in, man. Appreciate y'all for watching, man. Y'all the realest got dang. Y'all the realest support system in the world, bro. Real talk, bro. See, people I know, like, ain't really started supporting me till y'all till they seen y'all supporting me. So y'all the realest, bro. They just seen all y'all. I'm like, damn, <laughs> shit. So y'all made people just jump on the bandwagon, bro. But y'all the realest. Y'all the creative game. You yeah, feel me? I'm gonna color all this in. You know what I'm saying? Zoom in so I can be steady. Uh, I don't know why I did that. Uh, Alright, there you go. Follow this. 
Alright. <clears throat> Gotta color this little slime too. This is gonna be our base color for the skin tone. So we're gonna put this on a layer by itself since it's one color and it's gonna go at the very bottom. Cause our shadows gonna sit on top of this. Oh, let me go ahead and close that all right there. I'm gonna go to the top with my selection tool, highlight all that on that color. Then I'm gonna go to object, expand, and then I'm gonna click merge to make that one. And then we're gonna create us a layer right above it for the teeth and the eyes. So let's go and do that. See, make his teeth like that's a good color. Now we gotta do zoom in and close. GTA five characters. <clears throat> That'll be dope. You know what? I ain't never turned myself into a GTA character. So that's a dope idea, bro. Um, I just feel like doing something different, to be for real. I just feel like I could have I could have colored this like I always color, but I just feel like going the longer way. Just to show you guys as well too, so you if you having trouble doing it the other way, you can also color with your pencil tool. You know what I'm saying? Cause I use my pencil tool a lot, bro, like for shading. I shade with my pencil tool. I'm gonna add these little teeth. And I gotta do the little eyes right here. I'm gonna color that in. Boop, put that right there. Put it right here. I'm using a digital art tablet and I'm using the UG art tablet it's like an off brand it's an off brand tablet bro from the wacom you know what i'm saying but i've been using it so long <clears throat> it get the job done it's pretty good too let me see go on here fit these teeth in i'm gonna try that what are your what are my preferences? Um, long as you got your pressure set up on your brush, that's the only thing I do, bro. I don't use no special brush. I just set my uh pressure sensitivity. So a lot of people think I'm using like a special brush package. When really, I'm just set after I set the pressure inside Adobe Illustrator. I just create my lines with the pressure. Like I press down light, and then when I press hard, then I press back light when I'm coming off a line and it give me that effect, you know what I'm saying? So I just let my pressure make different shapes of line strokes. So that's why it's good if you're doing digital art, it's investing into your art tablet so you'll be able to make those different strokes of lines because this is a pressure line. And then if I was just using, if I was just using my mouse, I won't be able to create no no type of line like that. It'll just be all the same size. So you really can't make it not look computerized. See how, that's the same line I created but this one flow better because I was able to use pressure. And this one just kept that same consistent line going, so. Yeah. Yeah, yay. That is a good reference, bro. Like, use what you got, you feel me? Let me see, I'm gonna go ahead and add the tongue. And I'm putting these on different different layers, man. It's gonna go on the layer behind the teeth color. So it just fall in the background, boop. Just like that. 
And we gonna add his gun. His gun color gonna be a little darker. And let me see. Yeah, we're gonna make it. Make his guns kinda. Yeah, that's cool right there. Go ahead and make it guns right there, boo. Nah, but we playing some pull, but we gotta play some pull, but you feel me, but all right, look, let me go ahead and add this, add the little metal bolts to his neck, hey, brown, make that kind of bluish, bluish, grayish, make it bluish, grayish, all right, now I'm finna make this come over. Make that come back that way. Trace the inside of my line. I'm telling y'all, man, y'all sleeping on this pencil tool. But all you need inside Adobe Illustrator is your pencil tool and your pressure set on your brush. And you can do some amazing stuff. Because every picture you ever see me make, those are the only two tools that I truly utilize, bro. My pencil tool. And my god dang, my motherfucking oh, <laughs> I use my uh, my brush. Nah, right, look, if you this is why you put your colors on different layers. You see this? I'm finna click his skin tone. Watch this. Go to edit, and I always adjust my colors, bro. So even if you learn how to shade, bro, you still got to learn how to pick the right colors that flow into the next color perfectly. So I'm going to switch this skin tone up a little bit. So these are the two things I use. I use this color harmony and I use the adjust color balance. So I went to the adjust color balance preview. And I like the guy that ain't tweak my colors, man, until I get it. Okay. I like that swampy look. Yeah, that's a nice bass tone. I'm gonna hit OK. Now we finna create us a shadow layer. So let's create us a layer right above the skin color. You said what? One of my favorite artists of all time, bro, is Basquiat. And I know you thinking, bro, we knew you were going to say that, bro. That's so predictable, bro. But I'm going to tell you what's not predictable. Another fam a famous artist that's really dope that inspired me a lot. It's an artist by the name of James Jean. That, he's so dope, bro. Like, he's super dope. James Jean, Basquiat. Who else? I, I really liked it. Um... It's an artist that go by the name of uh, Party. Alex Party. Yeah, that's his name. His name Alex Party. So it's James Jean Basquiat Alex Party. It's a it's a, it's. A... Oh, that's clean. I like that. You said Zony. That's dope, bro. I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna share it on my live tomorrow, bro. When I go live, if I go live tomorrow sometime, I'm gonna share it, bro. Let people see your dope creation, man. Give some feedback, man. I appreciate y'all. I appreciate everybody who draw me, bro. Cause you took the time out to do that, bro. Like that's love, dog. I appreciate y'all. Y'all don't even have y'all don't even have to do that, but y'all do it. You know what I'm saying? So that's that was up, bro. Y'all the realest, bro. Trying to tell y'all, bro. You should look at yourself and be happy that you're a real one. Like, man, I'm a real dude. You feel me? All right, let me go ahead. Tell y'all, after y'all practice a lot on doing your shadows, bro, you'll just, it'll become a feeling, dog. Like, when I'm drawing my shadows, it's it's like a feeling. Like, I know exactly where they should go. Because, like, you know what I'm saying? Your art represents you. Your art is a piece of you. So you'll just be able to draw 
Just like, you know how people sing with emotion? You'll be able to draw and create art with emotion. Like, you'll be able to really be a part of your work. You know what I'm saying? So when I'm drawing, I just look at it and I be like, oh, everything just come together, dog. It's like, it's like a feeling. And it's like a flow. So when I'm drawing, I just, just be flowing, dog. I don't put no too much thought into it. I just, just like they tell you when you playing sports, they be like, go out there, have fun. Just make sure you having fun. That's really what you do, bro. When you creating art, I know you got to practice and get all that in, but don't take it so technical, bro. Don't be so, just have fun, bro. Create. Because art is a feeling. So if you was having fun while you was creating, people would be able to see that. You know what I'm saying? They be like, dang, bro, that junk. Because when people look at your work, they feel it. Art make you feel a certain way. Whether it's good art, bad art, sad art, you can look at a picture and that picture will make you feel a certain way. With the colors you use, you use the right colors, people will feel like, dang, that, that, looking at that picture just got a happy vibe. But looking at this picture will bring me back to this time. Yeah, art, you can do a lot with it, bro. You know what I'm saying? So, mainly, have fun, man. You just gotta have fun with it, bro. Cause that's all I be doing, man. I just be relaxed, drawing, and just creating. And that's it, man. So, word of the day is have fun. T World said, have fun. Let me see, put me a little shadow right here. Bring this thing. Let's bend to the wrinkle. It'll come this way. Have a shadow right here. Bend back this way. Boop, boop, boop. Come back that way. Ooh, got the shadow. And pull one right here. I gotta do the same thing on this side. Tell these wrinkles go. So it's gonna come back. Come up this way. Back this way. Bring it back. I'm down. I gotta clean these shadows up right there, but it's all good. It's all good. It is all good. I want them dang DJ effects on my live, bro. I gotta figure out how to set it up. I can do all the horns and all that. Blah, 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 blah. That shit would be dope, won't it? On my live, and I just got different effects and jump like that. Blah, 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 blah. You know what I bring back? That little, uh, you remember them DJ drummer mixtapes where they used to have a little, every time somebody did something dope, nah, I bring back the body drop that, that pew, pew. pew. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? I'm gonna look for that as soon as I get off my line. See, bro, you just killed this picture. Pew, pew, bro. Yeah, I'm gonna up the channel, man. Gotta go live on these boys. Yeah, we finna turn up all. I ain't gonna say, I'm just finna start saying turn up, bro. Every time I say that, it's like I jinxed the channel, bro. The damn rating started dropping fast. Then when I be like, yeah, bro, I ain't, it, I'm just dropping video, bro. Seems like you take off quicker when you ain't worried about it, but then when you start worrying about taking off, that's when you start slowing down. I'm like, shit. Okay, we put a little shadow right here. Put a little shadow under the lip. But yeah, man, that's how I met my baby. I see over here spoiled, spoiled to death. Barely, barely use her toes. Cause you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. Ever since, ever since we got together, I told her, "Baby, you ain't even gotta walk no more. I'ma carry you. I don't even let her. I don't even let my baby walk to the kitchen, man. Anytime she say I gotta go to the kitchen, I'm home, bro. I pick my baby up, bro. 
Stop. I, I stop what I'm doing. Pick her up. Carry her to the refrigerator. Sit her on the counter. <laughs> Pick my baby up. Man. You feel me? Put my baby on my bike. <laughs> <laughs> nigga talk about putting the world on their back. Nigga, I put my baby on my bike. Real shit. And we about to play PUBG. Nah, bro. I'm gonna wake. <laughs> I'm gonna wake you up. You go to sleep. I'm like, nah, but you gotta play PUBG. But yeah, that's all I want to do with the rest of my life, man. I just want to draw. You know what I'm saying? Make some dope music with y'all favorite artists and eat. You feel me? I mean, kill it, like hold my own. I want to show people, like, bro, bro, y'all gonna see, bro. Like, I can't wait, bro. Like, till y'all realize, like, bro, God done bless me, bro. Like, so I'm gonna tell y'all what I'm. If I, I'm gonna tell y'all every time, like, it ain't gonna ever get old. What I'm finna do with my life, bro, for the rest of my life. I'm going to draw. We already know that. So that's that's one. That's strike one off the checklist. I'm drawing for the rest of my life. Your boy will be making music for a long ass time. You feel me? And I will be playing video games for life. That's another goddamn skill of mine that I ain't never get the chance to just sit down and really perfect. But yeah, your boy gonna play games for the rest of your life, but but you know what they say, you gotta work hard for you play hard, so that why I ain't really been hard on the game, cause I'm like, nah, bro, I gotta accomplish, I gotta accomplish a lot of things before I really get in my, my nerd mode. Cause bro, I love some games, dog. I'm gonna go back and play all the old games too, like, Games that you used to want to rent, but you never could at the time. I'm going back and get all those games from the 64, Sega, Dreamcast, got name, PlayStation, PlayStation 2. I'm getting every game. Yes, that part. And I'm telling y'all, when this music started dropping, when I get big and I start like, you know what I'm saying, well, I ain't got to pay for no features. Just artists just want to work with you, boy. Like, all the big artists. Bro, I'm going to get on these tracks and hold my own. And y'all going to be shocked. Because y'all going to be like, damn, I ain't know shit. I ain't know. I know he said he rap, but I thought he was just one of them, them backpack rappers. I just thought he was just, oh, nah, buddy. Nah, uh-uh. <laughs> I'm finna eat. So, yeah, I'm going to shock y'all on the rap tip, too, man. Cause, bro, just like, just, I ain't going to tell you too much, bro. I'm going to just show you because I'm I'm that type of person. I'd rather show y'all. I just want y'all to remember that, bro. I just want y'all to remember I told you. You know what I'm saying? Because before I die, I want to be in that lane, bro, of the greatest. So, to be in that lane of the greatest, bro, I got a lot to accomplish. And time time go by so goddamn fast, bro. You gotta realize, be like, damn, I got a lot to accomplish, but I I got a short a short amount of time to do it. So I I'm always on my grind, bro. Cause you you can wake up you can wake up 15, and then wake up the next day, goddamn, you got them 30, 37. <laughs> I'm telling you, time fly by so fast. I used to hate when my folks be like, man, don't be, don't rush to be an adult. Don't rush it, man. Don't rush it. You should, you should want to be a kid. I be like, man, F all that. I want to, I used to think that, you know, ain't nobody finna say that to their parents. I used to be like, man, F all that, man. I want to be old. I want to be driving cars. I want to be out here, <laughs> out here living. You feel me? Nah, I ain't drunk, bro. I'm just litty. I'm just happy, bro. Off life, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? And you know what's so crazy? I'm going to tell you the truth. A lot of people get drunk and smoke because that's the only way they can be comfortable with being their true self. You know when you get drunk, when people get drunk and do drugs, that's when they be like, bro, I, I do my best when I'm high. Or I perform my best. Nah, you just more 
confident when you on a substance. But me, I don't need that to be confident, bro. I'm going to be me. I'm going to be wild, loud, chi, happy chi. I'm going to be myself. You know what I'm saying? So, all you hearing is my true personality without the substance, bro. I'm just always on go. You feel me? But yeah, bro. For the rest of my life, my whole life is gonna be based on the grind, bro. Cause that's the only way your boy feel like he got. I got. I guess it's just men, bro. I gotta have something to do, bro. Like being rich, like hitting the lottery won't be won't be satisfying to me. Like. It'll be fun at first if you think about it, just having a lot of money. But then after a while, that shit'll get old. You'll be like, damn, I need to find something else to do. So, I'm telling you, bro, find purpose, bro. Chase purpose. Chase your purpose. Hey, this junk. Look at this junk. You see it? Oh, I'm making sure you watching me now. Why me, baby, now? Got a white me shot. I'm about to switch up these colors in a minute. This shit finna stand out. Shading really have a lot to do with making your pictures more doper than it actually is, bro. Because if I just post the line work of this picture, it'll be dope. Everybody be like, oh, that's cool. But after you shade it, bro, and you really bring it to life and you make things pop out more, like, people will be like, damn. And then that's when it'll have that wow factor. You know what I'm saying? So, telling y'all, man, practice. Practice on that. And the best way to get better at it, bro, is absurd absurd bro go look at real pictures you know what i'm saying study pictures like because every picture you look at got some sort of shadow on it you know what i'm saying and then eventually you will learn how to create shadows for certain pictures to give it different feels because you done seen it so much and that's just how I just think I got better with just observing a lot, looking at different pictures and practicing. Because over time, you got to think of shading like this. If you draw a nose a thousand times, if you trace a nose a thousand times, like just the nose, eventually you will you will remember how to draw a nose without a reference without looking at it because you done did it so much so that's why i say i know a lot of people ask me like bro what's the tip bro what's the tip and then they think i'm just i'm just bullshit when i say practice anything you do for a long time bro it's proven bro you will have no choice but to get better and your mind will be able to break things down and to and make it more simple you know what i'm saying it's just like learning your abcs as a baby at first you're like what the hell but over time you will be able to really break it down like when somebody taught you your abcs you learned it like in a song a song form an easy way to break it down you know what I'm saying? The A, B, C, D, E. It was put in a melody so it would be easy for you to catch on to it. So that's just like art. The more you do it, the more you do it, the more you look at things, the more you study it, your mind, you will allow your mind to be able to break it down and simplify it to make it easy, to make you understand it better. Cause I know a lot of a lot of people when they see when they used to see my artwork, they used to be like, "Dang, bro, I wonder where you started at. I wouldn't even know where to start." But I'm pretty sure if they started just studying art, just looking at it, practicing, 
they they would be able to look at art different and break it down and be like, okay, I see what where it'd be easier to start at. I would have started with the eyes. You know what I'm saying? Or I would have started with this. So the more you practice, bro, I'm going to say that till I'm dead and gone, bro. The more you practice, the better you will become at anything. Steph Curry, the best shooter in the world, because I'm pretty sure that man practiced longer than other shooters practice. Like, he outworked people. You know what I'm saying? He put more work into shooting. I'm pretty sure he put up a 1,000 shots. A thousand shots easily, like it ain't nothing. Cause repetition make perfect, and the more you do something, you'll just train your body, you'll train your hands, you'll train your mind, and we we always find simpler ways to do something after we done did it for so long. That's just like working a nine to five. At first, you'll be doing things hard, but after over time, you'll do things that to make your job easy and not make you so tired, you'll find little tricks. So that's just how it works. That's the secret. The secret is practice. The secret of success is practice. The secret of failure is quitting. <laughs> if you want to be good at failing in life, just give up on what you going for at life, in life. You know what I'm saying? So remember that. Practice practice because that's all i'm doing right now y'all think y'all think i got it all together y'all think i got like got this shit in the bag but bro this ain't it might look like that to you but this is practice to me this is me working trying to trying to push myself trying to get better so i'm just allowing you guys to watch me in this process of working of practicing so you can see my work ethic and then understand what you have to do to get to this level if you're not already on my level or get further past the level i'm even at right now you know what i'm saying so it's all about grinding bro grinding grinding so you can you can become anything you want to be. I know a lot of folks was told that you can become anything you want to be, but they also didn't tell you the if. So it's really you can be want anything in this world you want to be if you grind, if you put in the work, if you if you truly put in the work. You know what I'm saying? So. A lot of people heard that saying, but they ain't hear the other part to it, which is the work. You can be anything you want to be in life if you put in the work. So make sure y'all putting in that guy name work, bro. Because I'm telling you, a year from now, everything I posted on YouTube going to be trash. Because I'm going to be so far past the level I was on from last year. You know what I'm saying? Your goal in, in life is just to get better, to get better than you would. Outdo you. Be in competition with yourself. I ain't in competition with nobody else but Chief. I'm trying to outdo Chief every time I'm drawing. I ain't got nobody else in mind. I'm just trying to outdo me. I'm trying to be better than me. Better than who I was. Because the thing about it, if you only going against yourself, you know what I'm saying, you can never stop. You will never stop. Like, if you, if your goal is to be a better than, just say, a superstar that, that died, and you finally beat their record, okay, like, you gonna stop right after you beat their record? But if your goal is to be better than somebody that you can never be better than, like you will, you will never stop improving, bro. So that's my goal. Till I die, I want to stay getting better. To the day Chi gone, and Chi can't be on earth to get better than Chi. You feel me? You smell me? Yeah, man. So the grind don't stop. The grind don't stop until your heart stop, or till you do. Your grind don't stop till the time run out on your life. So with that said, bro, you got to get it in, bro. 
You got to get it in. Hey, let me see. Let me look at my chat. Matthew, man, my bad, man. I see you, bro. Like, how do you know where to put them? How do I know where to put them? Talking about my shadows? Can you please give me tips on shadows on clothes? Bro, what you need to do, you need to take a picture, probably of you and some pants. And then you need to draw that picture of you in those pants. And you need to really focus on the wrinkles that's in your pants, bro. I know it sounds crazy, but that's some shit I did, bro. I took a picture. I was trying to work on my shadows on clothes. It's funny you said that. And I just took a picture of me wearing pants. And I sat in the I sat in the pose that I wanted my character to be in, so the wrinkles in my clothes would match the character that I was trying to create. So I just sat down. I took a picture of me and some and some uh, pants, and then I just drew the exact wrinkle wrinkles that was on the pants, so I know exactly. You know what I'm saying. I know exactly where I, how it's supposed to look, where I'm supposed to place everything. So, I'm telling you, man, all you got to do, just use the resources you got, bro. If you want to learn how to shade, look at yourself. Get get your light out on your phone, bro, and hold your, your light around your face in a mirror and just practice with things with things you got that's real you know what I'm saying use real life things as your reference magazines find you a find you a, a old magazine you said Daniel Becker man I appreciate you bro thank you for your support bro I appreciate all y'all, man. Thank you for watching, bro. Y'all the reason I, I be motivated to post, bro. Y'all the reason, bro. What you said? Lynn. Did I say it right? Lynn Finn. What did he say? I remind you of a brother you never had. Well, bro, I'm the brother you got, bro. You feel me? I appreciate you, man. Appreciate you for the support, bro. Thank you, bro. Hey, make sure y'all go, bro. Please, bro. Please go. Follow me on Twitch, bro, because your boy about to start gaming, dog. I got this dope computer that do VR, bro. The virtual reality. I think that's what you call it, the VR. But look, with that said, bro. Your boy about to get on what you call that game? The Steam or whatever. I'm about to download a whole bunch of crazy games. And I'm going to start going live with just playing different games, bro. And different vibes. Getting different vibes. And y'all can watch. And I'm going to be playing all kinds of stuff. So if it's a game you ever wanted to buy but you ain't quite want to purchase yet, you'll be able to see it on my channel. You feel me? You feel me? But I'm about to be a gamer for real. I'm about to take off, bro. My Twitch is... What it is? T-World1234? Yeah, my Twitch is the same as my YouTube, bro. Capital C, T-World1234. Y'all make sure y'all go check that thing out, man. Follow me on that thing, man. You boy gonna be turned up, man. You boy might... Get on that thing, you know what I'm saying? Kick a freestyle for y'all while I'm playing the game, you know what I'm saying? So y'all can see where these balls standing. Y'all can see where my balls located at. You feel me? Hey, music will be coming soon though, bro. I'm just I'm just updating y'all, bro. I'ma keep y'all. You know why I like telling y'all things before I do it? So it'll motivate you once once I do it. You'll be like, damn, I remember he said that. That's why I like informing y'all. So y'all can see like, damn, he spoke that into existence and he really did it. He wasn't just talking out the side of his neck. 
Nah, bro. Everything I'm telling you on this channel, bro, will be done, bro. Because I have nothing else to do but make the dreams come true. Damn, that's a... Hey, that's a dope, uh... T. Ah, shit. That's my shit, bro. I'm going to start saying that thing every time, bro. We ain't got nothing there to do but make our dream come true. So... You ain't got shit else to do with your life. Hit me out. Hit me out. Let me finish. Let me tell you. You ain't got nothing else to do with your life that, but make your dreams come true. Because if you don't make your dream come true, you're going to be working somewhere helping somebody else make their dream come true. You feel me? So the goal is to stay focused because you have nothing else to do but make your dream come Hot dog. <laughs> oh shit. Man, I love y'all to death, man. I'm be I'm be totally honest with y'all, bro. I love y'all to death, bro. Your boy I'm gonna finish with this picture too. I know y'all thinking like, damn bro, you taking a little too long, bro, and I'm about to log out your live because it's getting kind of dry. But bro, I just want y'all to know, man, I appreciate every last one of y'all, bro. Everybody who be watching me, everybody who be supporting what I'm doing. I'm so thankful that I can be an uh, inspiration to others, bro. You know what I'm saying? Coming from somebody who never had the proper education, never went to school for this, and I still get people that respect what I do and like the way I do things and still feel I'm someone they can learn from, bro. That's... That's amazing, bro. That's a blessing, bro. That speaks volume, bro. So, y'all are the dopest. I know I say that, and y'all probably be like, bro, you just saying that because it just sound good, and you trying to make it feel good because you got us watch. Nah, y'all are the dopest people on this earth, bro. So, give it up for yourself, man. Give it up. That's why I need, bro, I'm finna have my junk set up like a DJ. When I say give it up for yourself, you're going to hit a little round of applause like, yeah, 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 man. But yeah, man, y'all give it up for y'all self, man. Y'all on this thing talking about me. Y'all need to be talking about y'all self, bro. Y'all the realest, bro. I bet not ever see y'all in no kind of trouble when I'm around, but I'm like, bro, oh, shit, it creator game, bro. I'm riding. <laughs> you feel me? Wait, you have a gift. You make the world better. Art, reflection, uh, ideas, culture. Appreciate you, Robert Williams, man. Appreciate you, bro. Thank you for that message, bro. You a real one, dog. Thank you, dog. I truly feel like that too, bro. Like art, art can change the world, bro. Art is the only thing. You know how they say you got freedom of speech and you really don't got a freedom of speech? But art is the only thing you can really say whatever through your art and you will not get crucified for it. You won't get won't nobody attack you for your art. Like, I can tell y'all a horrific story through a painting, and I don't have to worry about getting backlash or losing subscribers because I did or said the wrong thing. I can really paint a picture and make people think of the meaning. You know what I'm saying? Even if they find a meaning, it won't get looked at as harsh. That's it's it's like a safe place. It's like nah, bro. That's just everybody will write it off. Like they'll be like nah, bro. That's just art. That's just art. You know what I'm saying? So it's just amazing, dog. And I'm a very passionate person when I talk and shit. So I'm pretty sure a lot of things I say, it'll have great intentions, but it might come out the wrong way. It might come out, and it might offend somebody. And I didn't mean to offend no one. It just. I'm pretty sure, bro. Everything I say, I have the best intentions, but it might not come out so clear. You know what I'm saying? That's why I'm so thankful to be blessed with a gift of art. Because I can make I can make people understand me. Oh, you know what? The, the point you say the picture is done, bro, is when you truly feel like. When you finish making your artwork and you posted it on Instagram, 
this one you know your picture is not finished when you post it on instagram and you look at it and you be like dang i wish i would have added that so that's what i do like when when i step back and i look at my picture i make sure i'm comfortable with knowing like okay when i look at this later i won't be like okay i should have added that you know what i'm saying so trust me it's a just like I said, like once you start drawing a lot, it be- it becomes a feeling. So you'll know when it's when it's finished. It's kind of like making a song, because like when you're creating a song, you know how many bars you got. You know when the beat finna go off. So the song kind of lets you know when you finish. And that's how art is. It kind of once you get used to drawing, and you start drawing like with feeling, like you start feeling the picture you're drawing, like you'll just know. Because a lot of pictures I just get done, and I know for a fact in my head, I be like, okay, that picture wasn't finished, but shit. Ain't nobody going to know that but me. <laughs> so, yeah, it's just a feeling, bro. It's all a feeling. That's why art costs so much, bro. Because people trying to buy that feeling you captured. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, man, he captured that. That picture made me feel a certain way. Every time I look at it in my living room, it just make me feel happy or it just motivates me. Like people look at art in a different way and it's all connected with feeling, you know what I'm saying? So. I had a little shadow to the thing. Let me see, I'm gonna go ahead. Put some shadow, shadow right there. Little shadow right there, inside the eye. And I gotta do. Let me do this. I forgot to add the what you call them, but it's all good. We about to add it now. I just gotta color these in here. On his forehead. Yeah. So let me go ahead. Fill this in. Come on this side. Fill this in. Let me see. Bring this down. Oh, add shadows on the neck things. You right, bro. Him. Yeah, you right, bro. I need to add some shadows on the little metal pieces. So let me go ahead and do that, bro. Because that look too plain. When everything gets got shade and the shadows and I just lift it out on that piece, yeah, that look real basic. So let me come right here. And add some shadows. I notice when you shading like metal, it got like a a very unpredictable shine to it for some reason. So I just do random stuff when I'm doing the shadows on on the metal. unpredictable you never know how it's gonna reflect got that going come up here This side, and this down. There we go. How much do I gotta pay to make me with a Naruto headband, bro? I got all my prices on my IG, 
But for the like custom art, like that Naruto y'all be seeing, I be charging three fifty. But if you just want a cartoon, cartoon picture of just your head, of yourself, like if you send me a picture and you want the picture exactly how it is, you know what I'm saying? Just basic cartoon head, I charge a hundred dollars. Waist up picture, I charge. I think what it is, see, for the waist up, one fifty. For the full body portrait, I charge two hundred, and then for all my custom art, it's three fifty. And the custom art is where you can get anything you want drawn. Like I can turn you into whatever you want, whatever come to your mind. You know what I'm saying? And I also, if you want me to. On the custom art, if you just if you say I want to be like a Dragon Ball Z character, my favorite character is such and such. I draw your character, I draw you as that character, and I also like do a creative background and add extra effects that I think will make the picture look more amazing. You know what I'm saying? Once I finish drawing your picture, I send you your files, just in case you wanted to take the picture I drew of yourself. And you want to take it and get it framed and put on the canvas. I send you it. I send you the files in a high res, so you could do all that good stuff. You know what I'm saying? Cause a lot of pictures I done drew. I got it hung up at my house. Like I went and got the quality. I went and got it printed, and I went and hung it up, and it's it look amazing, bro. So, yeah. Matthew. He said, let me hit you up with a follow. Yeah, bro. Appreciate you, bro. Go on, give me a follow, bro. Do that, bro. Let me see. I'm going to go ahead and do some highlights. Nah. I know y'all thinking like, damn, bro, you did the most, bro. But God, damn, bro. Look. I'm going to add these highlights, bro. Just a couple of Speaking of, I need to put the highlights under our dark layer. But it's going to sit on top of everything, girls. So, highlights going to make it look like it's on next level. For real, for real. So, we're going to place all our highlights. So, bring this this way. that way and I'm gonna play this video back as a speed art video bro you know what I'm saying just in case y'all want to watch this thing and y'all don't want to go through the whole line because I know it might be boring but bro if y'all want me to keep the live and the speed art video just let me know in the comments if y'all just say bro get rid of the live and keep the speed art of this we can do that too you know what I'm saying I'm almost finished with this one. We almost put a little highlight right here. I ain't it right there, huh? But I ain't look fire. Okay. Gotta put a little highlight over here. Show this side some love. I come down like this. And I'm telling y'all, the more y'all start drawing, bro, and practicing, it'll just come to you, bro. But nothing comes to you overnight and won't nothing happen. You won't see a drastic change without practicing, bro. So always keep in mind, man, if you trying to if you're trying to get your skills to that next level, you have to put that work in. There's no way around it, bro. You can't cheat the grind. Can't cheat the grind and expect to shine. Can't cheat the grind and expect to shine. I got rhymes all the time that'll blow your mind. But it be the itty bitty, the bitty, bitty. Here we go, put this right here. Hey. Yeah. 
All right, we're gonna do one more little highlight right here with this color like that. We'll put it right there. What else we got? Interac interaction is the best you speaking to us. Appreciate you, Robert. I'm, work I'm gonna work on that, bro. I will work on my engagement, bro. I know I need to get better at it. I'm just so used to drawing, getting in the zone, and forgetting that I got a chat going on. I be like, damn, bro, I got to show love to the game, bro. And I don't be doing it intentionally, though. I just, I need to work on that. I wish I had, like, Siri that would be like, Third World just said, what's up to you, Chi? Look up, please. I be like, hell yeah, yeah. I wish I had that. Let's see. Do you have to set something G on the pencil tool to fill in the color once you do the highlights? Nah, what you do is, what you do is you go to your pencil tool, you make sure the color is on top, and then any selection you make, like I'm using the pencil tool right now, what it's gonna do, it's gonna close the inner layer with like a fill tool with the color you got selected right there. So that's what I use to do all my coloring, my shading, it's the pencil tool. I just make a big old, I make the selection of my shadows and then it'll close it off. You know what I'm saying? So that's how that work out like that. That's why you gotta have your fill color set at the top and you gotta make, cause if, just put it this way. If I didn't have that bottom color locked, this how it'll look. It'll look like this. If I didn't have that bottom color locked and I just use my pencil tool, you see how this red is right here on the outline and then the blue is in the inner color. So that's why you got to make sure you lock the bottom color and have that color on top so your field color will work right. But yeah. The pencil tool is the goddamn, the, the secret, the secret sauce, bro. It's, ba it's basically the, uh, the formula <clears throat> that planting won't. That shit was lame. I should have kept that to myself. Look. I'm about finished, bro. I know y'all saying, damn, Chi, you keep adding, but you keep saying you finished. Bro, I appreciate y'all for watching, bro. Y'all. Bro. Let me see. Hey, Chi, first time watching your live stream. Enjoy the content. Appreciate you, bro. I'm glad you enjoy it, bro. I'm glad you do, bro. God dang. What's good, G? What's good, Blend? What's good with you, man? Thank you for the... Thank y'all for watching, man. Y'all the... Matthew. When you, gonna, when you gonna go on Twitch? I might go on Twitch tomorrow, bro. But I'm gonna make sure I put in some work before I go on Twitch, bro. Because I really... I don't have no followers on Twitch at all. But that's like a that's like a, a motivation. That's like motivation to me. It's like a challenge. A anytime I ain't got something big or set up right, it's like a challenge. It feel good when you start from nothing. You know what I'm saying? And you and you like work your way to the top. That's how I like it. I like to start at the bottom. I like to start at the I like to be the last person at the race and then finish strong. So people are like, damn. He got it out the mud. So, yeah, I ain't got no followers on my Twitch. I ain't really going to promote it on my channel, neither. Like, as far as too much, I ain't going to promote my Twitch on my YouTube because I really want to just grind. Because if I really grind on Twitch and really build a following, it'll just help me in the long run because I know I did that off just like, like, damn. Like, bro, you, you, you just got better with your content and people just was just drawn to it, you know what I'm saying? So we're gonna we're gonna start from the bottom. 
on our Twitch, bro. You know what I'm saying? How did you learn how to play shadows, highlights, uh, naturally to you? Oh, how did I learn? I just practiced, man, like, because I didn't, I'm going to be honest with you, bro, like, I y'all seeing me at a point of my life where I'm just good at it now, but bro, when I, I wish y'all could have seen me when I started, bro. No, I didn't start out good, I didn't start out perfect, I didn't, but I practiced, bro, I, like, I just practiced a lot, I knew what I was working towards. So you gotta always keep that in mind. Like, damn, I'm working towards this. I'm working, I'm trying. Cause anything you set out to do, bro, you going to do it. Like, if you set out to get a diploma, bro, I don't care what happened, bro. I don't care if you wind up with teachers you hate, classes you hate to go to. You got so many tests, bro. You gonna, you gonna eventually wind up walking. If that's your, if that's your goal, bro, you gonna wind up walking across that stage so that's just like it's just like learning how to shave bro if you truly want to learn bro you're gonna do whatever you got to do to make it happen bro because all you got to do is start the, the moment you start practicing that's the moment you decided that like damn i'm finna i'm finna get to this next level it's kind of like working out too like the moment you Decide to take action. That's when you're going to see results. And the reason I said working out, because your boy about to start hitting the gym. I'm about to get swole. <laughs> you feel me? I'm about, to, I'm about to start hitting the gym. Real talk. Boy about to be like a, a UFC fighter. I might put that on my bucket list, bro. Like, when I get famous, I might I might enter in one UFC fight, get my ad beat, and realize that ain't the life for your boy. <laughs> Bro, there's so much shit I want to do in my life that I'm going to do in my life. Because you got to think, you got to see it like this, bro. You got one life to live. It's either you going to live it and have fun or you going to die and be born, bro. Like, <laughs> So whatever you want. If you trying to get better at art, bro, do it, bro. You got to do it, bro. You got to practice. That's what I'm doing right now. I'm practicing. I'm practicing. I'm working at it. If you if you stream on Twitch tonight, I sub. Please please sub anyway. Please <laughs> sub anyway. I need you. I need all y'all. If y'all want to be there though, you know what I'm saying. And I'm gonna let you know up front, bro. I'm new. I'm new to Twitch, so uh, it's gonna start out slow, like everything else. I ain't gonna be. I ain't gonna be the best. But over time, you will compare me to the rest. I will be rhyming. I don't be trying. But look, yeah, y'all should shout out to the Twitch, man, because y'all the fam, bro. Y'all. But see, another thing, too, I wanted to talk about real quick before I get out this thing. I know somebody asked me, like, how do I feel about people stealing work? Bruh, y'all are the reason people can't really steal my work. Because every time somebody try, bro, like, y'all, the game will hit me up and be showing me or I see it and then I look at it, then I look in the comments and then I see people that's just riding for me like, nah, bro, that ain't your work, bro. That's that's chi word work, bro. You lying, bro, that ain't. And I be like, damn, that's love, bro. So I say that to say this. If you want to stand out, bro, if you, you really copy, getting your stuff copywritten and all that is really when people can see your work and know it's you, it's basically copywritten, bro. You feel me? If people can see your artwork, that's why it's good to have your own art style. Because people can see my style and be like, I know that's a cheap picture. People should be able to see your style and say, I know who that belonged to. Because your style, your art style is your signature. That's it. That's your copy. That's just like writing your name on a sheet of paper. Your style is like writing your name on a sheet of paper. So I want to motivate you guys to really be inspired by what I do. But even even if you're you 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 
I inspire you so much, you like to copy and draw the exact pictures in the same style. That's cool. That's cool because I feel like every artist, including myself, started out doing art almost similar to the artists that influenced them. But eventually, I want you to branch out and find yourself through your art. Find your own style because your style is going to set you apart from everybody and your style is gonna be the reason your work live forever. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna be the reason your name live forever because people gonna see your work and be like, oh, that's such and such work. I can I can tell that's their work. You know what I'm saying? So that's why it's important to value your originality, dog. You know what I'm saying? Real talk. That's a unique sound. But y'all the realest, bro. I'm gonna say that to him. Your boy blue in the face. Wait, I wanna add one more thing to this. One more thing, bro. We gone. Cause I know I done kept y'all here a bit too long. Let, let's do the hair effect. Hey, I'm I'm finna go ahead and tell y'all too, just in case a lot of people be not watching my tutorials and you you see this video and you like, damn, how to do the hair? Chi, how you be doing the hair? Look. You click your gradient right here. That's in your swatches. So you just come up. Let's start over. I'm going to add like that's not even there so you know how to get to it. Go to Windows. You come down here to Swatches. And then you go to this little library right here. It's a Swatch Library menu. You click that. Boom. Then you come on down. You come on down until you see the guy. Dang, gradient. There you go. You see that? And then you just click any one. And then you're going to get this little gradient menu. And then you just look for a gradient. It can be any gradient to start one. But make sure it's like a simple gradient. Something like this. Just any. Bam. You click that. Okay. Now you come over here to gradient. And you see we got these three little knobs. You make the two on the corner dark. It can be any fade. But it got to be. The bottom got to be straight dark. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you got the bottom two to your far 100. And then we got to make it fade into another color, which you can make it fade into any color, but don't don't make it, don't make all these black just because you want it to fade into something. So, okay. Now we're going to make this center color brighter so they have the highlight. You know what I'm saying? And you're going to see what we doing, bro. Don't ask me what we doing. Just see what we doing. Okay, see how we got that pulled in the center? And the reason I didn't make the two edge colors dark, like all the way black, and I made it fade into a color, because you want the transition to be smooth. You want it to flow into the next color perfectly. So let's go ahead and make this like a goddamn motherfucking, uh, I made that right. Okay, I want it to fade into that gray. So let's go ahead and make these kind of kind of bluish, purplish a little bit. So we're gonna pull these knobs to it fade. See how it's fading better? It's fading a little better. Now it look like it is transitioning. It's slowly going into that light color. And that's that's our hairbrush right there. So right now I'm gonna go to my brush, and we just created the hair with the gradient brush you know what i'm saying so look all we gotta do is just add our little lines and you see how it look it just get that illusion like i ain't ain't, ain't boy you really just how the hell how the hell you draw hell that's how you draw hair with your gradient bro so you just really just gotta learn how to utilize your tools though like a mechanic basically if you're an artist you're a mechanic bro you feel me? So look, just add a little hair, man. Come over a little bit. Don't do too much. Make sure it's all flowing. So bam, we got the little hair effect. Look at that jump. Bam! Ain't got no boy got them wave, boy. Boy got them dogs. JP, let me see what you said. The tablet. I got the UG JP. The uh I got the UG tablet. 
and it really don't come with too many on like on board options it just got the basic cut the brightness down and all that it's really the cheap version bro it ain't nothing special about the tablet i'm using but i just got so used to using it because when i first got some money this the first one i bought that was like where you can draw onto the stream and then shit I just been using it ever since, dog. But I am gonna upgrade in the future, though. Bro, you're an OG. You OG. Appreciate you, man. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I appreciate you, dog. And y'all the realest. Michael Thompson, what program you like the best? The program I like the best. I'm gonna be honest. Damn, bro, like it, it's so hard, bro. It just it depends on what style I'm going for. If I'm going for like that clean Victor look, Adobe Illustrator, bro. Like if I'm coming for like a clean, sharp look, it just depends on what I'm going for. But my favorite programs that you'll see in all my videos is Clip Studio Paint, Procreate. Adobe Illustrator. Th those are my top three. Top three programs for now. You know what I'm saying? Let me go ahead and say this real quick. I'm going to say this as a... Okay, I'm pretty sure I'm going to make a mistake and delete this later. After I post it on my Instagram. You feel me? Hey, let me go ahead. I'm going to give y'all a sneak peek, though, of the program. Bruh, I was just on YouTube doing my normal thing, searching the, searching YouTube like I do every, every night. I'm finna get on Paul G tonight. I'm just ain't going to go live with it tonight, bro. I'm just going to get on, bro. If y'all see me on Paul G, feel free to add me, bro. I'm on mobile. Look, this program right here is free. You know what I'm saying? I can't hide it from the game. Y'all look at this. Go download this free program right now, bro. This Krita, K-R-I-T-A. Go download that shit right now. I'm telling y'all, bro. I'm finna, I'm finna open it up not right now. This ain't no sponsor video. Ain't nobody paying me to advertise anything, so I can be completely honest. This shit fire. Watch this. I ain't even got into it yet, but I can tell it's gonna be fire. But well, bro, look at these brushes, bro. Let me show you this shit. Bro, look at these lines, dog. I just gotta figure out how to use this shit. Okay, look at these brushes, dog. Like, come on, bro. This shit, dog. Go download Critter, dog. Stop what you're doing. Go download this shit, bro. It's free. Anytime something say free, you better learn how to use it to your best ability, bro. Because I'm telling you, bro, if I had an art tablet and I didn't have no programs and this pro and I would have seen this and it said free on it, bro, I would have made this shit the best program. So if you can't afford all these programs that that's for sale, and I'm pretty sure if you're a kid, like you you and you ain't got no money, it's cool. Find these free programs, bro, and utilize these things, bro. Cause these, the brushes on this, dog. I'm gonna really try to draw a real picture tomorrow. I'm gonna play with this shit tonight. But look at this shit, bro. Like, come on, bro. Like, I like going through all the brushes to be like, okay, what would I use this brush for? What type of style would I use this shit for? But, bro, all these brushes legit, dog. Like, this shit come with this free program. So I'm thinking, shit. Let me see. That's crazy, dog. So I'm just imagining, like, me trying to make different little effects, little power effects with these brushes. Hey, dog. So, wait, what are you racing to, like? I'm so lazy. I'm just clicking new. Okay, bet. Damn. But yeah, bro, go download Critter. 
Cause this junk. Oh, well, I'm finna do. Wait, let me see. Sketch. Let me get. A, let me see how this pencil tool work. Let's see if I was drawing for real on this thing. Hey, hey, hey. T World and TV. Hey. Okay, look. If I was drawing. Bro, this junk is the program Fire Dog. So, make sure y'all go get this thing. Cause it's free. Anything that say free, you need to go pick it up. You need to go get it shit a chance. The reason I got this program, cause I was looking on YouTube, I was like, dang, what you can make animations with? And then I seen somebody, bro, you can make an animation with this program, dog. I'm not saying it'll be the best, but I'm pretty sure, bro. Like as far as just this program, just being able to create. I, I know for a fact, just playing right now, like I can create some super dope artwork. Just the feel of this whole thing is crazy. So, if I'm just playing with it, now I don't even know nothing about this program. I haven't figured out all the functions. But just playing with it, just getting the feel of the brushes, I can tell like this shit, this shit fire. So, you heard it from your boy. If you can't afford a dope, if you can't afford Adobe, you can't afford all these other digital programs, bro. Y'all go check this junk out, bro. It's called Krita. K R I T A. Thank y'all for watching, man. Mohi. Wait, let me see what, what Robert said. Talent will shine no matter the situation. Yeah, you right. You got the glow. Appreciate you, dog. Robert Williams, man. I appreciate you, bro. Them some real words, bro. Coming from a real player, bro. I appreciate you, bro. Real recognize real, bro. But yeah, dog, this shit. Oh, yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Before I get off. Before I get off, bro. Look at this. Look at this damn brush right here, dog. Look at this shit, dawg. You can't tell me this shit ain't. What the f boy? God. Dawg, look at this shit. This shit crazy, bro. Y'all sleeping on it. I'm telling y'all, bro. Y'all be thinking you need all the money in the world. That's why I hate people like, bro, I ain't got it like that, bro. I can't get that. That's why I can't follow your tutorial. I'm like, bro. Y'all better go check out these free. It's free. A lot of stuff on the internet be free. And if you determine, bro, you can make that shit work better than the shit that costs thousands of dollars. You can put it this way. I'm finna give you a little game before I get off. With this free program, you can use this free program to make you money, dog. Like if you a talented artist, you putting in the work, you grinding, all you just you got everything, you just ain't got no program. But you found this free program. You can learn how to use this free program to your advantage and make you some money. And what did it cost you? Nothing. You know what I'm saying? So, bro, I'm telling y'all, man. I'm gonna do something dope. I'm gonna draw some. I'm gonna make a dope ass video with this brush. You literally can do anything when you got something like this, and that shit just come out like. But yeah, this is a free program. I'm gonna keep saying that. I know y'all getting tired of hearing my goddamn voice, but it's all good. Like this shit free, bro. God dang. Oh wait, wait, wait. Let me try this. Oh, this shit dope. Okay. So just imagine. Put this like that. This but um these are these little cartoon characters I used to make with these weird faces.
But yeah, bro, this shit free, dog. Yeah. I appreciate y'all, man, for watching. Hello from Brazil. Man, what's good with you, man? From Brazil, man. Much love. You can combine that tool with, with another symmetry tool at the top. Oh, shit, you can? Oh, damn. Yeah, bro. It's a lot to this little program, bro. I'm finna really check it out, though. You know, I'm finna do my little research on it. But download this program for all the people who can't afford programs. Download Critter. Because this shit, this shit got the Chi World approval, dog. Like, and this look, off rip. This brush right here will be a dope little hair brush, dog. You know what I'm saying? Like, it just say if I was drawing a, a female. Look at how, look how it end the stroke. Like, that's some nice texture to close off some hair, bro. And this is a free program. It's kind of slow. It got a little slow, a latency to it. But shit, that ain't, that ain't a problem. You feel me? Well, you need to be going slow anyway. You need to be concentrating anyway. So it's cool it goes slow. But this is a dope-ass program, bro. So to all my artists, bro, go download this free program so you can make you some dope artwork that's eventually going to make you some bread. Download what? Bet. I need to check that out. Well, man, look, dog. I appreciate y'all for watching, bro. Make sure y'all stay tuned. Because more heat coming soon. I'm going to be dropping hella tutorials tomorrow. Make sure you go check out my Twitch. Because that's what I'm going to be doing all my games. Gaming. From now on, dog. Make sure you stay tuned. More heat coming soon. And we out this thing for the night.